Welcome. Uh, this question says an organ pipe is open at one end and closed at the other. The organ pipe is, is six meters long. Assume the speed of sound in air is 300 meters. Then what is the wavelength of the third harmonic? And what is the frequency of the third harmonic? So let's visualize. So here we have the organ pipe and it's closed at one end. Um, if I imagine drawing a, a, a wave pattern inside, well, it needs an antinode at one end because it's open and it needs a node at the other end because it's a piece of steel there, there's a piece of uh, solid material there. So then I can imagine that I have a node at one end and I have a node at the other end. And there's the simplest waveform that I can fit into that length of tube. And then I have another example. And if I look at this, again, I need an antinode at one end and I need a node at the other end. So I'm going to have a node there, an antinode there. And the next more complicated version of this looks like that. Um, and then if I go to the next version, then I have to go out. Well, it's going to be like that and come down here and then back up there again. And this one goes like this. Because again, we need an anti-node at one end and we need a node at the other end. So this is the sequence of complexity, no anti-node or node. There's an anti-node there and a node there. There's two anti-nodes and two nodes. So it's, it's, there's, a, there's a logical sequence there. What's not obvious is that although this is the simplest pattern which gives the first harmonic, this is not the second harmonic. This is the third harmonic. And this is not the fourth harmonic. This is the fifth harmonic. It turns out, for reasons that you'll get explained in class, it turns out that um, there's no second harmonic, there's no fourth harmonic, there's no even harmonic in uh, an instrument which consists of like an organ pipe that's uh, closed at one end and opened at the other. And you can kind of see that uh, um, this is, if I think about how much of a wave this is, this L is equal to, well, if the wave looks like that, then it seems to me I've got a, a fourth of a wavelength. So this would be lambda over four. And if the wave looks like this, I've gone from there. And my next line I'm drawing there is L is equal to three lambda over four. And if I look at this next guy, I've got to do another wave in here. So there's the pattern. So that's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters. So L is equal to five lambda over four. And because of the ratio of the folk of the uh, uh, wave, so the wavelength, let's do that. <laughs> so this is lambda is equal to four L, and lambda here is equal to uh, four. L over 3 and lambda here is equal to, uh, sorry, let me do that again. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, so lambda here is going to equal, oh, I had to do it right, 4L over 3 and lambda here would equal uh, 4L over 5. Um, well, that's still not getting, is it? So then if I say V equals F lambda, and let's just make life simple. Let's make the uh, V equals 1. So then I say, well, F is equal to, well, F is going to equal, which gives us that F is equal to V over lambda. So if V equals 1, that's 1 over 4L. And F here is equal to 3 over 4L. And F here is equal to 5. F is equal to 5 over 4L. This was because the velocity I'm imagining is 1. I'm just 
I'm not looking at my question at the moment, I'm just doing some stuff. So if you look at this, this is 1, this is 3, this is 5 times a constant, a common factor. So there's my common factor, and I have 1 times it, there's my common factor, and there I have 3 times it, and there's my common factor, and that's 5 times it. And the way that harmonics work is it's not the order of the pattern, it's the multiplication factor for the frequency. So whatever frequency this is, this is going to be three times bigger, and that makes it a third harmonic. And this is going to be five times bigger, and that makes it a fifth harmonic. Uh, whereas for the guitar string, it was simply a ratio of one to two to three. So we had first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth for the guitar string. We had first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth harmonic for the organ pipe open at both ends, but for the organ pipe that's opened only at one end and closed at the other, we get first, third, fifth, seventh. We get no even harmonics. So a little bit of a tutorial there on, on where that comes from. It should be covered in class. Um, so let's <laughs> let's now you know make some space. So I wanted the third harmonic and the third harmonic is my second pattern. That's where I was headed towards. So now let's let's step through this. So let's get rid of all this. I'll get rid of all these guys. I'm going to repeat some of it, but it's no big deal. And what I say is okay. So this is the one I'm interested in. So there's a little bit of conceptual understanding there. And then I say, well, my length is equal to, well that's one quarter of a wave, that's two quarters of a wave, and that's three quarters of a wave. So that's going to be length is equal to three over four lambda. So that gives me that lambda is equal to four over three L, which equals four over three times, in this case, my length is six meters. So lambda for my third harmonic is equal to 8 meters. So there's my lambda for my third harmonic. And then what is my frequency? Well, V equals F lambda. So F for my third harmonic is equal to V over lambda, which equals, in this case, 300 over uh, 8, which equals, well, 3 eighths of 24, so that's carry 6, and uh, uh, 7 eighths of 56, so that's carry 4, and 5 eighths of 40. So it'd be 37.5 for this. 37.5 and 8 meters, yeah, there it is, C. So, it's the same skill. Um, there's a bit of conceptual understanding that you need to have at the beginning, and that is that the pattern uh, is a little bit more complicated. And the pattern, so, and it, it turns out that you cannot have an even number of harmonic. You can't have the second or the fourth or the sixth harmonic for an organ pipe that's open and closed at the other. So there we have it.